have dreamed long and hard. He remembered all the food he had eaten, but he kept getting hungrier and hungrier. He dreamed about his friend, Chef Kamad Bod, who died as a young man of a heart attack. His dreams spoke to him. There were omens of his own fate if he didn't straighten up his act. The sap journeyed further into the woods. His hunger faded slightly, at least until he came across a smorgasbord of delicious maple trees. Was he delusional or what? Hey, Niji, what are you doing? You need to show some respect when you come out here. You gotta offer some tobacco when you come out here and do this at the Sugarbush Camp. You just can't take and steal anything. I'm Bay Niji. Come on, get up. I'm Bay Niji. I'm gonna help you. Here. I'm gonna teach you something. What did you learn? You know what that was in that bucket? Hungry. That was sap. The sap had no experience living off the land, and so his beard friend came to him, knowing now he was ready to listen and to learn. The spirit taught him well. The spirit taught him the old ways. He showed him how to respect Mother Earth and to take from her only what was needed. He showed him how to live healthy. He led him towards a red path and a better outlook on life. As a sap returned to civilization, he was immediately drawn to those familiar smells of sweet commodities cooking on the stove. At that moment, John Savage Eagle was faced with the most difficult decision of his life. Would he give in to his old habits, or would he change his life forever? Hello everybody, this is John Savage Eagle. How are you people been? I've been good myself. There's a lot changed since i last been around, you know. Kind of on the right path now. Thanks, thanks to, uh, you know, Monty Do and a couple of spirit buddies helped me out. I'd really like to thank, thank them for trying to get me on the right path. And having family members on the council to get my old job back. You know, what can you say? What can you say? But I'm trying to live on, you know, the right path there. You know, I had a little trouble there, you know. You know, the commods is killing the people and it was killing me. But I'm trying to eat right, live right, set a good example, but... I know, I know it's a hard life out there. Uh, I know there's a lot of, a lot of other people that are going to be following my footsteps. But if I could just touch one person, that's all I need. And to all the other little sads that are coming up, kind of hard out there. Keep your head up and do the positive things and move on, and you'll be all right. But I know it's always easier to take that easy road. But the easy road's not always the best. But like I'm saying, just keep your head up, move on, stay positive. That's a deal, man. That's a deal. Deep is 
John Savage Eagle lived a long, healthy, and productive life. He won many awards for his good work, but was best known for his contributions to the establishment of the Sav Prevention Task Force, a tribal organization dedicated to eliminating the black marketing of underground commodities and providing treatment to those who are still dependent on government rations. So he closed his story with the words of a great man and good friend, John Savage Eagle. This is John Savage Eagle saying Meagwitch and many Meeks. Ooh, what then? She. Oh, oh what? what? Mm, yeah. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> <Get me. clears throat> 